This is a question that I keep getting. There's so many different stem designs. How do you know what to put in for a hip replacement? So I'll go through them and talk about these stems a little bit. This is a very basic stem. This is called a blade stem. You can see the design is such that it kind of looks like a blade. It gets its fixation in the metaphysis of the bone with this surface to ingrow. This is a very uh, basic stem. It's been used for a while, works well. This is kind of the next generation of stem. We call this a trapezoidal type stem. You can see it tapers in more than one plane, both in the anterior, posterior, and medial lateral plane. We have tapering of this stem. It's small, so it can be put in through a minimally invasive type approach, like a direct anterior hip. This is another type of trapezoidal stem. You can see here by the design. It has a collar on it, so you can use it in a little bit worse bone. It's also smaller, meaning it can be put in through a minimally invasive approach. This is a karai type stem. This stem has been along for, around for a very long time. It's fully HA coated, meaning it ingrows all the way from top to bottom. So these can be very hard to get out if you have to remove them. It has a collar to prevent any subsidence and poor bone quality, and it's a very durable stem. This is called an SROM. This is a, you can use it for primary or revision type cases. It has a sleeve up top that's fully customizable, which allows for bone ingrowth and distally it gets fixation with these splines to lock it into place. You can set what we call version or rotation um, for dysplastic hips or hips that aren't normal. This is a modular type revision stem. You can see this actually comes off and uh, you lock this piece into the bone first and then you attach this piece on top with a screw. For really severe uh, hips that have instability problems, you can use this type of head, which is called a dual mobility. It's a head in a head, um, which works really well. These are other ceramic heads. The larger the head, the lower the dislocation rate. Metal heads are not really used that much anymore. This is a, what we call a hemiarthroplasty or a partial hip replacement type head where you're not using a cup, you're only using a large metal head, but um, most of the time I'm doing total hip replacements. And these, this is the cup. The cup has a porous coating on the back to ingrow into bone. It has multiple screw holes in case you need extra fixation. The liner locks into the cup like so. There's different types of liners with offsets if you need them or more, more constraint. And uh, that's kind of the lowdown and the, and the rundown on, on hip implants.